What is up guys, Heath with Lake Champlain Sanitation here. And on today's video, we're gonna be talking about your first roll off dump trailer. As we come towards the end of 2021 here, entering the final quarter of the year, some of you guys might be getting ready to spend money on your first roll off dump trailer because you've been running a regular dump trailer to start your dumpster business and it's time to upgrade to the roll off trailer. Or maybe you have another business that's already going and you guys wanna try to get into the roll off dumpsters. You see something that interests you about the business uh, and you just can't decide what trailer to purchase so hopefully this video guys will help you out in your buying decision we're gonna go through a couple brands today show you some of the options that each brand has um, get into pricing a little bit uh, from what I can get my hands on with what's out there in the market right now and what my dump trailer cost me um, and as always guys if you like this content you know hit that like button hit that notification bell to subscribe to all of our new latest and greatest videos now let's get into it all right guys, so all I did was a simple Google search um, to see what comes up first. And I am seeing Texas Pride bumper pull dump trailer here. Um, it looks like the trailer source, uh, that's an ad, PJ Trailers, Nationwide Trailers, another Texas Pride normal search coming up, U-Dump Trailers, Max D Trailers, Protainer, um, Top Shelf Trailers, and of course, Nedlands. All coming up first page here, guys. Let's dive into Texas Pride first. See what they have. This is actually, this in U-Dump was what I originally, this is where I first saw these things was the Texas Pride um, ads and the U-Dump ads. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. If you got a dump trailer, what were you looking at in the beginning? What trailers were you looking at? And why did you purchase what you did purchase when the time came to spend that money? So we're going to click on roll off trailers here let's see what comes up all right i like this website i think it's a lot more updated than years ago when i was looking at it there we go i do know guys it's kind of hard to see the screen i've got my camera on a tripod so for that reason the link to everything is going to be below all of the trailers we're going to be discussed we're going over four of them today um all the links are going to be below so uh, I know you guys can't really read the screen. I'm kind of reading it for you, but just check the description below if you want links to all these websites where the roll-off trailers can be found and quoted. We got some nice pictures of the setup here. First and foremost, guys, what I'm noticing on this trailer is this really nice tarp system. Now, I don't know if this is an option. We're gonna get into the pricing here in a second and check that out. But right off the bat, I see a tarping mechanism, which that's pretty awesome. I really wish I had that on my tra uh, trailer, uh, my PJ that I have. Um, so right off the bat, really liking that. This one here showed, I'm assuming is a 12 foot trailer. It looks kind of short. Um, let's see what they have here, guys, for pricing on their trailer. So we got a seven by 12 right up top, 14,495. I'm assuming that's just bare trailer, um, no uh, dumpsters. 7x14 bumper pull, which got 14, uh, 995. So a couple feet longer, which I will say the couple foot longer dumpsters sometimes can make your side rails shorter and have a bigger dumpster, which is easier for customers to load, which I found because my dumpsters are all 14 and they tend to like to be able to throw over the side on the smaller 15 yard size. Um, and then uh, they got a goose, couple gooseneck options here. So you're, you're between 14,5 and 16,000 guys for just the trailer. Now, Keep in mind, if you're watching this video, we are in 2021 right now, steel prices are super high. Last year, these trailers are probably a thousand bucks less. As we go down here, you got dumpsters, and, and I like how they lay this out. They're very uh, they're very open with their pricing, which I like. It's very transparent. Um, 12 foot dumpsters starting at 52.95 for an 11 yard, all the way up to 63.95 guys for an 18 yard with your standard 15 yard size in the middle there of 57.95. Come down to the 14 footers a little more money they got 13 17 and 21. i'm already liking the fact that they have three dumpster sizes um some dumpster companies <clears throat> pj uh like i have are not doing um multiple size dumpsters as of right now we had to fabricate up the sides on our standard dumpster from pj so i really do like this look at this down here 5400 bucks you can get a 16 and a half foot long flatbed attachment for hauling equipment very cool, six foot wide. That's nice for a tractor, a small excavator, um, all that sort of good stuff, guys. So all in all, from what I see from Texas Pride, 
I don't know of a dealer anywhere around my area, but let me know uh, in the comments below. Do you guys, any of you guys have Texas Pride trailers? What do you think about them? How's the rail system? How are they holding up? Have you had them a year or two? Are they, uh, you know, is the trailer itself good? Um, looks like they have a standard 10 ply tire on here. Uh, they do have a spec sheet, which is really nice for uh, any of you guys that are really into the specs and want to check that out. Uh, 15,000 pound Warren winch, which is pretty standard for the industry. Um, so yeah, all in all, from what I can see here, the Texas Pride would be a, definitely a good option to look into as your first roll-off trailer. Guys, let's now hop into the PJ Rollster, which is the trailer that I currently have and have been running for the last couple of years. So if you guys are brand new to the channel, why did I go with PJ and you want to see what my PJ trailer looks like? Mine's a 2020. Um, I'm going to put the, a picture of that in right here. The reason I went with PJ guys, um, really the only reason, and knowing what I know now, uh, I probably would have looked at other dumpster trailers because I really didn't know anything about them back then, was I had a dealer close to me, the winch system, the rollers, excuse me, everything. I was kind of a little intimidated, honestly, by the whole thing and like how heavy would the dumpster be and if something snaps, like the dealer's at least there for warranty and... Uh, Honestly, like I worried about a lot of things that I really didn't have to in the beginning, but I bought the PJ because A, the dealer had it in stock on the ground. I got a pretty good deal on it because someone backed out of it. I get, they special ordered it and I was just super lucky that I found PJ online, called the dealer and they had one. This is back like in uh, late 2019. Um, when someone had retail ordered one and backed out of it. So I was able to get the trailer and, the, and my first dumpster at a really good price and it was in stock. There was no wait time back then and I was able to put it right to work literally like the next week. So that was cool. Um, but so far it's held up good and we're gonna go over some specs of the PJ Rollster right now. So the unit here guys is the gooseneck version. I have the bumper pull version. Let's see here. So these guys are saying 219 a month. Um, I actually, on the last one on the Texas Pride, I think it was on the 12 footer, they were saying 214 a month. So <clears throat> I don't think these guys have their pricing anywhere. I think it's just, let's see here. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're just gonna give you some financing options. And uh, honestly, these percentages, I mean the 599 for 24 months, 599 is about what you're going to probably get on a piece of equipment financing. But guys, I really don't think um, 9.99 for 60 months or 9.49. That's pretty high unless your credit's rough. You should be anywhere from the 4.9, I would say, to 6.9% maximum on a uh, on a piece of equipment like this. If you go through a local credit union, if you use one of, one of these agencies like online, it might be higher. But just so you guys know, um, I called my local dealer just to check this. The trailer itself, the bumper pull trailer right now, guys, is eleven thousand dollars or ten nine nine nine, and a dumpster is about fifty five hundred. So we're gonna call it uh, the total package together, just for easy terms, is gonna be sixteen thousand five hundred. Now, to my knowledge, um, PJ does not make a 12-foot trailer like Texas Pride does. They have a 14-foot trailer, and they only come in gooseneck and bumper pull. Um, let's see what they got for brochures here, guys. I'm already, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I really don't like PJ's website. Um, I mean, let's see here if they can even give us anything. Uh, da, 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 da. Spec sheet, I mean, this isn't really a, really a spec sheet. I mean, it's basically a picture with a bunch of writing on it like let's see if they got a better breakdown here Whoop. better breakdown here so load capacity 10,000 to 11,680 pounds very similar it's also got those Dexter 7,000 pound axles guys tandem axle trailer GVWR 14,000 pounds guys is going to be your bumper pull and 15,680 is going to be for your uh, uh, gooseneck trailer um, I mean we're looking here they're they're really not very versatile um and that's going to be my biggest uh downfall that i'm going to say pj comes with i've beat the crap out of my trailer and it's held up knock on wood but <clears throat> 96 inch deck and an 83 inch bin 
I mean, those are the widths. And then we go down here to see what they have. They have a, you know, an axle warranty, which is cool. Uh, trailer warranty, which is great. You know, three years on the frame, one year limited warranty. Again, I haven't really used the warranty for too, too much um, that I couldn't fix myself. It was way faster to fix myself. But uh, let's see what they got here, guys. Estimated base weight, 4,000 pounds. It's just, it just doesn't really break it down that good, honestly. It was, it was very user friendly. The site for, I mean, it keeps sending me way off the site here. Um, the actual dumpsters themselves, guys, like I don't even, let's see, do they even give us the, I mean, the dumpster should be right here somewhere, you would think. I mean, spec guidelines. Yeah, that's not what we want. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, guys, I mean, they're not even giving me, a, you know, dumpster side heights available. Doesn't even say anything. I mean, you can't even click on any of this. So, like I said, I got a, I've said this many times already in this video even. I had a dealer close to me, guys. That's why I went with the PJ trailer. It's treated me good so far. It's made me a ton of money. Um, it, you know, it's paid for itself 15 times over in the last two years. But, uh, but all in all, just after, you know, even looking at this website, I back then was not even, you know, I was naive. I literally called the local trailer dealer and they had one. That's literally how it worked. I should have done more due diligence. And that's why I'm making this video for you guys, because, you know, if, if I was new to this business and looking at this, I would not, I would not buy this trailer right now, just because of the fact that it's not very open and easy to use. I mean, give me the dumpster specs. I mean, give me the dumpster weights, give me something, you know, and don't just give me a picture of the thing here and say that it's 14 feet long. Um, but you know, let me know, do you guys got a PJ Rollster? Have you beat it up? Have you broke it? Uh, like I said, mine's held up good. It's made me a lot of money, but all in all, I might go with a different trailer down the road if I were to get a trailer again. Now we'll move on to our third brand of the day, which is going to be Nedland trailers. Okay, guys, so Nedland Trailers, that's what we're going to get into next. These guys from, I just got off the phone with them um, because this is a brand I don't know a lot about. Pretty sure some other guys on YouTube are using these. From what I just heard from him, this is like the Ferrari Lamborghini, the higher end of the roll-off dumpster trailer manufacturers. Um, just from being on the phone with the, the gentleman for, you know, 15 minutes, I got a lot of information that made me kind of think, you know, wow, I was real foolish <laughs> to start the way I did. Granted, these trailers are more money. I'm not going to lie. But once we get into the quality here, guys, uh, you're going to understand why. Flipping through a couple pictures, as you guys can see, they have a lot of options here. Um, you know, a lot of different options. They got a little 12 foot guy for, I think he said six, eight and 10 yard. They've got 14 foot long, um, trailers and then some even longer ones here with a 17, five tire guys capable of 24,000 pounds on a tandem axle trailer, which is pretty darn awesome. Their most common size, uh, that they told me was a 16,000 pound trailer guys. That's going to be a GVWR of 15,999. With a single axle truck, like a F-250, F-350, single rear wheel diesel, uh, if you go gas, you're going to be just, just under CDL with this guy, with these guys' trailer. Um, for the standard 14 foot, 16,000 pound guy, uh, you're $22,750 in the current market for one of those. Uh, you can get a fully automatic tarp system, as you guys see in this uh, picture here, which is pretty awesome for another $6,100 roughly. The cool thing about that is it has an automatic remote, which I like. Um, also has a remote for the winch, so you can stand you know, around the unit and operate it. Uh, and the biggest factor is standard rail um, dumpsters and standard rails on this trailer, guys. Why that is so important, okay? So you want to buy uh, some dumpsters and, um, you know, if you buy PJ, uh, I don't know if, I think Texas, I don't know if Texas Pride, I think they are standard as well, but the standard rail dumpsters here, guys, $4,565 in today's market. That is a thousand dollars cheaper than a PJ dumpster. And I'm going to go out there on a limb and say it, they're built better. Um, just like I said, just talking to the guy, you know, two inch framing, uh, two inch studs, you know, they, they, they're doing real 
fabrication work where I think, you know, nothing against the PJs. I have a lot of them and don't get me wrong. I've made money with them. I'm not bashing the PJs. I'm just saying if you are getting into this from the get go and you have the extra money and you plan to go to a roll off truck down the road, guys, uh, these roll off dumpsters right here are, you know, from Nedlands are going to be used on a big cable truck or on a uh, small cable trailer. And they have a lot of options. They can fabricate pretty much anything from what I heard. And, you know, 15 yard dumpster versus PJ's 13.9 or whatever it is, $1,000 savings per dumpster. Um, if you're going to get a fleet of 10, you are literally talking almost the same exact price by the time you buy 10 PJ dumpsters and a PJ roll off trailer. The only difference is those 10 dumpsters that you bought from Nedland are going to be able to not only probably last longer, they are going to be used on your roll off truck as you grow this business down the road. One other thing, guys, that I want to mention before we hop into the Max D setup. This little box right here, if you guys can see it on the screen, there is a motor inside of there. There's a little 13 horsepower Honda motor that is going to really crank up RPM and pull power when it needs to on a heavy dumpster. It's not electric over, you know, hydraulic. This is a gas powered Honda, which are basically bulletproof um, engine running those hydraulics and pulling those heavier loads up on the trailer, which obviously is going to last longer than an electric system. Alrighty guys, so our last and fourth final, if you will, trailer of the day is going to be the Max D roll off trailer. Now, this one to me is newer. I've seen Max D trailers around for a long time. I'm not sure how long ago they got into the roll off game, but I will say this thing is pretty darn close to a spitting image of the PJ Rollster trailer. They call this the Rocks 14K roll off dump trailer. Um, 14 feet long, 14,000 pound GVW, all pretty standard stuff, except we're going to go down here. You probably can't read it on the screen, but a 22,000 pound warrior winch. Um, my opinion, that is overkill. There is a 17,500 pound winch on my PJ Rollster. If I ever pulled that much weight up onto the trailer, it would snap in half. Uh, so... 22k warrior winch might be they want to say that we got the strongest winch in the game i'm not quite sure guys um but that is one thing that stands out to me other than that they've got drop axles here which i think the pj does on its uh gooseneck version but they do have some different color options which is kind of cool um which i didn't don't think uh pj has as many options if any options uh we come down here we're going to go to the roll off trailers 13.6 uh, cubic yard on their shorter 14 foot trailer and on their 16 foot trailer guys they're going to give you the option of a 16.1 cubic yard dumpster um, so two different you know size trailers which is kind of cool um, if we look into this one here let's see if this guy Oh, do they give us a spec sheet? I'm not seeing it. Let's see here. This GBWR is interesting. 19.2 to 21,000 pounds. This guy is, this guy is a beast. But still running that electric system. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know why they don't have a spec sheet on this one. But maybe that spec sheet goes for both of them. Maybe they have the same exact winches. I'm not sure. Um, Max D trailers anyway. I've seen a lot of them online. I've actually seen a lot of them up for sale lately. Uh, they're they're in that same ballpark, you know. They're in that same ballpark price point as a PJ. Um, I think you're around 11, ten, eleven thousand for the trailer. Then you're talking forty five hundred to fifty five hundred for the can. I've heard them even fifty seven hundred. I mean, I, some dealers might be price gouging a little because of the uh, supply and demand right now. But anyways, guys, they do have a couple different like this dumpster is interesting in the picture here, but it doesn't really show me like what we're what we're looking at here. I mean, they got dump trailers out the wazoo. They got a bunch of those. But they're really not showing me, guys. Like, just like I said with um, PJ, it's like, guys, just put the dumpsters. I mean, this is cool. Flatbed attachment. You're showing us pictures. You know, this one, two foot sides, six cubic yard dumpster. Like, 
yeah, that's awesome. Like, where's the information on it? We just, all we want to see is the information on this, guys. Um, but there's your 13.63, and there's your taller C20 cubic yard dumpster. They didn't even have that in the description. Um, so, you know, it's cool that they got different size bins. I think that's awesome. I just wish, just like the PJ website, that their website was a little more updated. Maybe they're newer to the roll-off game, and, and we'll see next year. It'll be a lot more user-friendly, kind of like the uh, Texas Pride um, website. But it is pretty nice that they have a couple different size dumpsters and that way overpowered winch. You should not be burning that out. Um, I do like the fact that the other winches are Smitty built. Uh, it's been around. Like I, I know that name. That's like a household name because I have friends that are into Jeeps. So like Smitty built, I've heard of Warren. I've heard of. I haven't heard of Warrior winch, but uh, I'm sure if they're putting it on this trailer and they're selling them all over the place, they got to be pretty good. So let me got, let, let me know, guys, if you got a Max D trailer and uh, how that bad boy's working out for you. Um, if it's making you money, is it costing you money because it's breaking? Uh, let me know. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Got some good uh, insight on which trailer you might be buying. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are buying a trailer this year um, or if you're at that point, you've been watching the channel for, the, for a little while and you just pulled the trigger, you're ready to go and, uh, and get your first roll-off trailer, guys. There's more options than these four out there. Uh, just so you know, there's probably another five or six options out there, but we're not going to make this an hour-long video. So, Google that, guys, um, if you want to see those other roll-off dump trailers. And I'm going to have it in the notes below, um, right in the description, the link to all four of these roll-off trailers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.